there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Julie. This is Julie's kitchen. And this is what Julie's kitchen looks like now, thanks to some help from Design Inc. Julie wants to say goodbye to her tired kitchen. Our job, to wake it up with something fresh and new. According to Julie, it's long overdue. Hello. Hi. How are you? Who's this? This is Lake the Wonder Dog. Nice meter and greeter. What features would you like to keep? What's the good, the bad, and the ugly? I like the floors. They're original. Yep. I like the ceiling. Pretty much everything else can go. What about sort of style of how you'd like to see it? The country kitchen, I would rather not see in here. Okay. I hate those tiles. <laughs> <laughs> Never a good idea. Never. Strangely, Lake is non-committal. Well, the pot rack's a function of necessity. Right. I need storage. What about color? I like bright. You I don't both. mind color with accents, though, okay. at all. OK. Uh, if I like countertops or backsplash or something. Tell me about this little room here. What's the story? It's a great yeah. room, and I've done nothing to it except paint it. I hope this doesn't hold any sentimental value. This belonged to my great-grandmother. Oh, I was afraid of that. You could actually fit a love seat or a sofa that was kind of deep and comfortable here, and there you go. That's what she did. It's your throne, is it? <laughs> it's truly a dog's life. But not for Tommy, who's helping me make this kitchen fabulous for humans, too. Lake likes having people around. I'm not sure if your team will enjoy her as much as she will enjoy them, but uh, that we'll see. OK, Julie, I love your fridge magnet. You look thin. You lost weight. <laughs> Six. 65 and three quarters. That's so right. close this up and all glasses, teacups, and everything can go in here. Yes. Don't I look fabulous in that kind of light? Yeah, really. I'm not getting under there. <laughs> this teeny tiny traffic zone needs some big, bright ideas. Time for a meeting. What I've got here is just the rough sketch of the existing cabinetry and where it's located. So we have to, how's that going for you there? <laughs> my mustachioed friend. <laughs> I'm going to start my day with a milk mustache. <laughs> we'll keep this existing floor plan. It's the best option for Julie's small kitchen. What she likes is the beadboard ceiling and the nice old pine subfloor. I mean, you rarely get an opportunity to work with a kitchen that has some funky old features that you're allowed to keep. Right, of course. She seems to me to be a very vibrant person. I mean, look at her yesterday. She was wearing pumpkin orange. I know, and there are orange and citrus accents throughout her house. I was ordering some color samples for cabinetry. Was mm. it cinnabar? I did. Was it cinnabar? Mm -hmm. Whoa. I doubt she'll go for it. Maybe it's that great marble counter that everybody eliminated the last time I tried to use it. Maybe you go for something like that. What? I think it looks like cat barf. Don't call it that! Okay, well, I won't call Come it that. Come on, isn't that her. her perfect color combination, though? It is pretty much very her palette. So go light with, with spicy accents. I think we have to. Spicy's good. It is a kitchen, after all. And the backsplash is a great place to add some heat. Because California gold is nice. And then there's the peacock. Nothing's really jumping out at me yet. There, a fruit basket. No fruit baskets. There's a little tiny oh, mosaic over here that looks pretty good. That could be our entire palette right there, too. Yeah. I bet it's not in stock. Oh, I'll get it. I'll do what it takes. So when's it coming? January. We're going to find out. I know. And if we don't get what we want, we'll just have to consider other options. At least, it's a beginning. Hello. Before we start, can you do me a favor? Will you just yeah. grab all the neutral colors? Hello. Oh, no, not these. The cabinet samples. <laughs> what do you think? You like it? Hmm, it's tough to catch a break around here. So we've got lots of warm options. Yes. I just did this because I thought it would be fun to experiment. Well, it'd be fun she to get her reaction yes. and see what she says. I think first step is let's not edit this. Let's just send it. 
and get some feedback from Julie and see what she says. Hi, Julie. I'm carrying 30,000 pounds of stone sandals. I'm more drawn to the neutrals for the big stuff, honestly. Okay. Off the bat, this appeals to me more than this, even though yeah. I actually like this. Mm -hmm. I like this better, I think. You could have really light counters like this, cabinetry in this, and then something like that. Yeah. It seems to work well. Yeah, it's good. I like that. I have some uh, feedback from Julie. She has opted for light cabinetry. Okay. She really loved the color that you sent her in the really jazzy cabinet sample. Yes. She said, could we use that color, but in a more subtle way? Could we paint we... the sunroom that color? I think we probably could. I thought Julie liked color. I like bright. We've got cream counters, cream cabinets, and a beige backsplash with four mm. pieces of red in it. I think that back sunroom now has to be really exciting. I want to see fabrics, lighting, drapery samples, what is the rug, what's the furniture, side table, the whole nine yards. Okay. More like nine feet. Julie's kitchen is so small, the demo takes no time at all. And Tommy's here to keep an eye on things. Oh no, none of this was supposed to come out. Let's see. Jokes aside, we've got to nail down the paint. We had talked about this color, Buffy, for the walls in the kitchen. This is our cabinet color, okay. antique white. Let's sample the European white. I'm having trouble with anything named Buffy. Okay. No offense. This is the original red, mm -hmm. which now I'm feeling is a bit russet. We need to be 100% sure that we are not ending up with a red that is made in a clear base, which means 12 coats. It ends up looking shiny. Hold on. This is picture gallery. That's my vote. And for the kitchen walls? What is that? Savage ground. <laughs> Julie's kitchen is being painted. Eating room red and savage ground. Well, we're on our way to giving Julie's kitchen a new look and feel, and some much needed storage. Here's a problem. I didn't think that's part of our kitchen. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. The pieces to Julie's redesigned kitchen are falling into place. All except one big long one. I don't think that's part of our kitchen. I think this is part of somebody else's kitchen. Look at the door, Serge. See the door? Yeah. And see the doors on all these? Plain shaker. No insert. Yeah, that's somebody else's. There's no pantry here. No pantry. My mistake. A simple case of mistaken identity. Thankfully, the right one is in the truck. This is like the cabinetry version of a designing team member. So thin and so chic. We need to talk a little bit about Julie's fabrics okay. that I'm shoving towards you as we okay. speak. So this and is for colors. the back sitting room. We were looking for something that had pattern on it for the dog to go onto a chaise. Okay. We were going in the direction of having the walls in this color here. I like the faded quality of this paisley. Mm -hmm. The number That's one right. thing is it has to be washable. Of course. Washable and removable. Basically, it's the dog's bed. I love this. I, th I mean, look at this with the tile that's in the kitchen. In terms of tying it all together, these cream tones, brown tones, red tones, they're all in there. Ah, Julie's finally getting some color. Time to see how her little kitchen is chugging along. But, well, why did Julie move out? <laughs> what, she didn't like what we did to her living room? Holy moly. This looks very yellow. It'll probably dry a little lighter. Oh, yeah, that's it. This is good. Now, what are we doing for drapes? That's find, reading really pink. I find it too strong. And that's a bit safe. Well, that goes perfectly with the color in the kitchen. I think this room is like a little tent. So why not go with the ticking stripe? This has all of these colors. Okay, let's measure up for your yardage. This is 83, 61. So let's get our drapes. Let's get our lights, a rug, a storage cabinet, a side table, a wall mount light. Where's that's our tile? Oh, the tile's in China. Now I'm worried. The tile's being sent from China just for just in time for our finish date. Great. The tile's on a slow boat from China, and now this. Should I stop you and let you know that the fabric that we want is not available? Like, not available at all? There's under 10 yards of it. <laughs> this fabric is so perfect. Oh, yeah. Well, it's so perfect that I'm actually sort of determined to find it somewhere else. Are you getting a read on it? <laughs> Fabric's not the only trouble at Julie's. Vic, the cabinet installer, is having some issues of his own. Okay, I feel like uh, the guy's the circus. And we're uncovering more problems as we go. 
Hello. Remember how we measured the cabinets so that the floor wouldn't be exposed, so they would cover the unfinished portions of Julie's floor? They, they don't. I think I'd like you to come and see it, if we could. She's gonna be here in five minutes. Clean up this mess! As of now, our marble people are here to measure, um, to site measure for the marble, and the cabinetry installation isn't finished yet. And if we don't get that site measure done today, the counters aren't gonna be ready for closing this room. That's just the half of it. If we run the gas line through Julie's basement, we'll have to tear down the ceiling. I don't like the sounds of ooh. Do you know where it comes in? No idea. Have you come to solve all my problems? Oh, you know, I've got painters, marble measurers, cabinetry installers, and gas line runners. Oh, you've been so slacking Hopefully again. there's room for you in here. No. Hello, everyone. Yeah, look at those floors. Yeah. Yeah. Get out your Q-tips. We're going to be touching up the floor. <laughs> what to wow. do? Wow. So it's going to have to be sanded and redone. So we still have, there's a cabinet going here, mm -hmm. right? Double cabinet goes there. This one was supposed to be high, and this one was supposed to be low. The final plans were to have everything run even with the bottom of this bulkhead so that it would all be in line. Yeah, that wasn't my fault. Yeah, I call this a case of miscommunication. You showed me the plan. Right. And you were all concerned because of the bulkhead and how it was all going to work. Right. And it was originally, Julie had no space. So I said, take it as close as you can to the ceiling, except for where the bulkhead is. Right, but then Julie wanted it to be even with the cabinetry on both sides of the vent hood so that everything looked symmetrical. I think I got cut out of the process. I think the drawings came, and I think Julie saw the drawings, and I think you saw the drawings, and I think kitchen guys saw the drawings, but I don't think I was ever told that it was changed. Just how did I get left out of the loop? Julie's kitchen may be small, but it's got some big problems, like how the cabinets are being installed not the way I envisioned. My issue is I think these should go all the way up. It was she who led the whole symmetry okay. issue. Okay, Tommy will make a quick phone call and continue as planned. The irony is not lost on me that I'm standing on the edge right now. And with that, Tommy tries to do a final sell job on Julie. Will she see it my way? Give me some good news. That gas line that I was so worried about yes. actually went all the way around the outside of the house and was in in an hour. So we're not wrecking Julie's basement. The cabinets have been installed. Not the ones that you wanted that go all the way to the ceiling. I went back to her, the price to get it redone was $3,500. In light of the cost, maybe we go with what Julie and I thought originally and you're outnumbered. That's why you have three people involved in the project. <laughs> right. Sometimes you need your tie break. If she likes it and you like it, then I'm completely fine with that. Okay, and okay. I feel the same way. Thank you. Here's what I'm not thrilled about. Okay. Remember the fabric that we found that was so perfect? Yes. And so at fifteen ninety nine, was the price? Yeah, yes. perfect. Fifteen ninety nine. We were gonna go with it. Couldn't get it. I went out and I found this. Nice. However, it's forty four dollars a yard. So we're talking over twelve hundred dollars. I'm gonna go out and see what else I can find out. Clearly, my ESP to go and wasn't it. working that day when I went. Ah, uh, I know where it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here and nap. It's nap. really comfortable. Is it lunchtime? As the clock ticks, Tommy tracks that ticking we're after. Hello, you have 19. I'm gonna try a different fabric now. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Please say you have good news. Oh, we need to talk about Julie's fabrics. Why are Julie's fabrics becoming the issue in this project? I've spent days asking myself that question. The backup fabric yeah. was this. Okay. Which is actually quite good with this. Yeah, a little bit more. Except for the very small minor problem that it's railroaded. I was literally on the phone it's not ordering look it. Like a tent, if the stripes run sideways. No, this one, small quantity. This one, same story. Not available in enough yards. Has there been a run on salmon lately? I have no idea. The salmon are swimming <laughs> upstream. <laughs> We may be up the creek if we can't find that drapery fabric because the process is not going to wait. Pretty crowded in here. Oh, more the mirror. Take it easy, guys. Oh. It's so clear that we have a superior fridge. Yeah. This is nice, though. And an inferior fridge going out. Even I'm taller than this fridge. <laughs> if we get any more people in here, it's going to start to smell. Or we're going to start to moo. I don't know if I just laced myself on the actual chisel that I was working with. Oh, I'm feeling it. I think I'm going to fade. 
Well, why don't you go home and take <laughs> Got blood, now we need sweat and tears and we'll get this done. Looks like we need to wash someone's mouth out with soap. Glide her down so she doesn't bounce. Come on. I wish a simple bandage would solve our fabric impasse. One last time. I do not have very long to find this fabric. This could work, but it's a little farmhouse. I really like this one. This one could work too. The store that had to have the perfect fabric actually had three perfect fabrics. Ah! So you're gonna get to choose between three really good ones. One, two, and this. Any mini money mo, I like this one. Interestingly, that's the one I liked the best. It has more life to it, it's a bit more fun. You see, all the effort. It was not it for was naught. It was all for a better kitchen for Julie. We may have found our drapery fabric, which goes to show that not all solutions come in through the front door. Mm. Help me, help Hello. me. <laughs> I did. We need a light. This is it. Plus a cabinet and side table for the spicy sitting room. Something jazzy, but sometimes Sarah likes clean. I'm calling to track a uh, delivery that I had called in for Monday. That drapery fabric we worked so hard to find is now missing in action, and the finished drapes have to be installed in two days. All right. Hi, Peter. Apparently, the driver did deliver the um, bolts of fabric, and she stashed them around the side of the house on either side of the chimney. We've got cabinetry and lighting and electrical and appliances and tiles and all kinds of things. The thing that has been the biggest hang-up on this project are the pretty drapes for the little room off the back of the kitchen. Like, it's just so absurd to me. Our time and patience are running on empty. 40 bucks. I hope the producer's watching this. Julie's kitchen reno was supposed to be a breeze, but drapery fabric has proven to be a wild card. I have a bit of an issue with the fact that they dropped it off and didn't call to tell me that it was being left outside. Our backsplash is missing. Tiles in China. Until further notice. Time to lay on some friendly persuasion. I'd rather hold than have a message taken because this is the third time I've called. Thank you. Your call is important to us, please hold. Enrique, it's Tommy. What's happening? I hope this is good news. Not sure how to say hallelujah in Chinese, but guess what? Our tiles arrived from China, and I'll be picking it up this afternoon. How are the counters? The counters are going in as we speak. It's a very tricky installation. We're all standing around holding our breath. Have you got, uh, have you got the floor figured out yet, the refinishing of that floor? Yes, somebody's coming in on the weekend to just touch it up. Okay, great. Super. Finally, Tommy has a smile on his face. And at long last, the backsplash from afar is being installed. We're good to go. Time to get this kitchen finished. Well, let's hope it's hot in the kitchen because it's cold out here. But can we talk about how good it looks? Thank can you. Can we talk about the most beautiful backsplash? I think it's sensational. In order to furnish the little room off the back, I've got Natalie going to get a rug and a couple of accessories. I like this one. Can I grab one of these? I've asked Jessica to pick up a cabinet to store all of Lake's leashes dog and dog toys and things. I'd like for you to grab some flowers. I think it's a lemon meringue kitchen. That's beautiful. Uh, it wouldn't be a transformation without a little bit of a panic. Kate's bringing the chandelier, but she's not here yet, and the electricians do have arrived any minute. Thank you. Oh, it's so pretty. Hey, the dog is now... She's lounging. No, that's not what just happened. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, Lake. Hey. Okay, Jimmy, the pendants are in those boxes back there. Yep. Hey, it's got the chandelier. One gorgeous chandelier. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Those are sensational. Worth all the effort. When we first met Julie, she hinted that she would go for a vibrant kitchen, and I tried to see how vibrant I could get her to go. We tried to turn it into something that your overall impression would be, wow, that's colorful. Ooh. Nice. Kate knows how to buy a mug to get your day started, right, huh? You learn a lot about somebody during a renovation. This is her favorite snack. So I thought it'd be kind of cute if we did this for her. This is unbelievable. Oh my goodness, look at this. 
that sunroom was Blake's room. And Blake is a fabulous dog, but I thought we really needed to turn it around to make it usable space for Julie. So we decided to kind of really max out on things with high impact in the smallest space. I think the bathroom was the big surprise punch. It actually makes the kitchen look better. The cabinet was an interesting adventure. I think it would have been nice if the cabinets went to the ceiling the way I wanted, but I have to say, I think that they look nice shorter. That's why they're the client and we're the designers. We can offer up the choices. They're their choices to make, so. I should have just kept my mouth shut in the first place. <laughs> It is really a small kitchen, especially considering the fact there are four doorways and a window leading into this kitchen. If you think long and hard about what your storage and organizational needs are, you can actually create a really efficient kitchen in a really small space. Ironically, it actually feels bigger. I don't think I could have come up with uh, half the things that give it the special punch. I really love it.